so that is something that may be looked at. Uh, I would also uh, just want to say that it, it may be also very useful, um, unless I'm mistaken, Mr. Chairman, but I was trying to look at what, why have, have we been seeing cases where legislation is collapsing a lot in court? Um, and one of the things that has become a waterloo for many pieces of legislation is the issue of public participation. Um, it is a provision in the Constitution, but I would want to appeal to Parliament uh, to give it more thought uh, so that we can refine that area um, and figure out what is really public participation, what is adequate, what should be the parameters, because it's uh, still vague. We are going by court rulings largely on this matter. I think some help uh, from Parliament to refine this area might be very, very uh, useful uh, so that we can avoid too many delays of critical pieces of legislation uh, as we go forward. Uh, I agree that uh, um, we, we must continue looking at functions of government. Uh, uh, there's wisdom always from a different perspective when creating the structures and functions of government. Uh, and uh, all I can say now before this committee is that uh, it's now going on record that there may be need uh, going forward to review uh, some of the functions and maybe where they are domiciled. Uh, I would not want to say that the executive order number one is cast in concrete. It is uh, a living document that can be uh, uh, reviewed uh, for further efficiency in government in some of the sector areas. Um, I want to state that uh, we must once again take Parliament very seriously. Uh, we must take the reports of the Auditor Generals very seriously. Uh, we must work in collaboration to help some of the critical uh, uh, independent institutions with the necessary resource. Um, the Auditor General's office uh, needs a lot of support. Um, the budgetary allocation over the last few years uh, has not been commensurate with the kind of tasks that they have. Um, just the way we saw that the judiciary needed more support, uh, I think also institutions and offices like the Auditor General uh, will need more support uh, because their role of providing audits in a timely manner for all public entities, including county governments, uh, is a very tall order and they need to be resourced appropriately financially, technologically, and even in terms of human resource. So these are critical areas. Kwa yale mambo ya agenda ene zile kubwa the big four, kilimo, manufacturing, mambo ya afya, na mambo ya kupea na makao ya kiheshima kwa Kenya, uh, mimi nitasema tu kwamba uh, katika ile manifesto yetu ya ya Kenya kwanza um, hii agenda ambayo imetajwa hapa imenukuliwa kule ndani iko kule ndani na tutazidi kuangalia kwamba uh, wakati uh, pesa za kitaifa zinatengwa ama zinelekezwa, zitaelekezwa katika sekta hizi ili tuwe na uwezo wa kuhakikisha kwamba tutatimiza uh, yale ambayo tuliahidi uh, wa Kenya. Uh, nadhani nitakomea hapo. Uh, kwa wakati huu. Thank you very much. Uh, Davadi, three minutes and final appeal to the committee in three minutes. <laughs> 
my prayers are <laughs> that you find me suitable to work with you and to work with other Kenyans uh, in, in uh, delivering service to the people of Kenya. Um, I just want to emphasize that uh, uh, in, in, in my role, I want to have a very strong interface uh, with the parliament uh, so that we can find common solutions. Um, we are all there to help the people of Kenya, uh, to serve them, and uh, we cannot serve them by being isolated and living in silos. We must be able to cross the aisle and talk to each other. Uh, so this is what I would really want to encourage and to say that uh, I'll be ready and willing at all times uh, to engage with you either collectively as in, in maybe in committees or even individually uh, as uh, legislators so that we can find uh, uh, solutions. The final thing I would urge is that um, we should also remind Kenyans that the challenge ahead of us is very, very serious. It's not a game of lottery uh, to the Kenyan people. It's a question of being honest, being truthful, getting the right information to make decisions uh, so that we can restore, uh, Mr. Chairman, let us restore trust in government. Uh, let it not be a government of rumor mongering. Uh, this is what we want to, to try and avoid. Uh, we want to have an open government. We want to be able to have the facts on the table. Uh, uh, principles of accountability, transparency must be at the forefront of, uh, of, of uh, uh, what we do. Uh, and also, when uh, looking at the budgets, uh, I would just help that, uh, plead with the, with, the, with the parliament that help us to eliminate something that I kept on calling uh, in my campaigns, uh, budgeted corruption. Uh, budgeted corruption. Uh, this is something that we all need to fight uh, and deal with. Uh, up to this day, uh, the person I'm going to meet at the railway station uh, will still want to know why would a product uh, cost 100 shillings in the kiosk uh, and uh, when the government is procuring the same product, uh, it costs a thousand. We must find a way of dealing with this issue. So I'm, I'm appealing to, to uh, members of parliament that as we go, uh, let's work together. Because 